In the new set, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, D&D comes to life and tests your skills, but not in the way you might think I mean. Hello, Planeswalkers, and welcome back to the Signature Spellbomb. I'm Chad, and I'm going to be your host as I complain about some cards today. If you like the type of videos I make, please remember to like, share, and subscribe, and you know, tell me what you think in the comments below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. So I'm going to kind of get into it. And for those of you that don't have a background in tabletop RPGs, D&D is one of the oldest. It was created by Gary Gygax. And in it, I'm going to talk about one specific mechanic that's got me a little flustered. With this set, Wizards of the Coast is hoping to capture two different aspects of the D&D tabletop experience. One, the lore of the Forgotten Realm setting specifically, because it's their largest sitting. It includes the Underdark, Neverwinter Nights, and Daggerfall, which are probably properties people are aware of. In that lore, there's some amazing stories, and some of that they've gotten wrong, but most of it has been amazing in the art, and they've been trying to tell a story. We have some other mechanics I wish they would have used that would have better achieved, I think, their goals, but that I'm going to discuss in another video. The other piece you're trying to capture, which is the piece that I think is frustrating me just a small amount, so much that I believe it's causing a little bit of brain cancer, is their need to port skills abilities, stats, and the gameplay experience of D&D into Magic the Gathering. This I'm not super excited about in many cases. Like, I like the class cards, maybe I'll talk about those later, but what I don't like is what I'm calling skill checks. In this new set, there are 28 cards that refer to rolling a d20. I'm not going to worry about the commander uh, product today, I'm only focusing on the Adventures of the Forgotten Realm core set. In regular D&D, you have skills, and whenever you need to make a skill check to try to do something like search a room, for example, you roll a d20, you add your attribute to it, and you add your skill for the ability to actually search. And depending on how high your roll is, it's usually over a set target number the DM is, is usually hiding from the players, then you succeed. If it's under that number, then you fail. They have captured that in Magic the Gathering by giving many cards a roll a d20 text. When you roll a d20, if you roll low results, you still pass as you would in... Um, D &D. So like a one through, I'd say about a nine is the average on the cards. It does differ. That's just me saying it in broad just to get through this. You get a minor result and it's usually not always worth what you have to pay or what the investment is to do so. If you get like a 10 through 19, you get a better success. And in D&D, &D, when you roll a 20, that's usually a critical success. And in many cases in D&D, &D, if you're in combat, that's when you double damage. I'm going to put up contact the other plane as an example of this on a spell. You can see when you roll a d20, you get to draw two cards, or you, you know, if you roll one through nine, if you roll 11 through 19, then you scry two and you draw two. And if you roll a 20, you scry three and you draw three. So it's obviously more powerful if you're lucky. I have terrible luck with dice rolling and I'm, I'm kind of happy up to this point that there's not any dice rolling in a game where I already have a one in 60 card chance of drawing any particular card I need. I didn't really need more random number generation inserted into this uh, Magic the Gathering. I have D&D for that. So I'm of two minds about this. I feel like the skill check mechanic, and I'm going to put up some creatures that kind of illustrate it a little bit better here, is something that exists in D&D. It is flavorful to that, but not to the experience I think most players want. I think most players were excited about the lore, not about like the dungeon art or this particular thing. The downside I feel like for them having added the skill check mechanics of rolling a d20 is that there were so many other mechanics they've invented that would be a much better fit for a D&D world that already exists like sagas to tell the lore of the world or the Ixalan cards have an adventure on one side when you complete that adventure you arrive at the land on the other side those things feel more flavorful to me and maybe i'll talk more to that in another video we lost valuable card slots for things that just made more sense now on the other side of things Many of these cards, because you can't guarantee how weak or powerful they are because there's a random element to how they function, you only get one of them in any uh, particular Oathbreaker decks. Of course, this is all within the confines of Oathbreaker. They will help you keep your deck 
non-competitive. If your goal is to have a relatively low power deck or deck that's competitive enough, but not to the point where you feel like if you show up somewhere, you're gonna pub. If you want a fun deck, if you want an enjoyable deck or a theme deck, these cards are better for a lower powered play environment because of the random aspect of the cards in most cases. But I am going to say that I personally do not like them. I don't feel like they were a great direction for a card type in this set, and they um, have made me rethink how much money I want to invest. The Adventurers in the Forgotten Realm, and they make me a little worried about whether or not we're going to have something like Scatter Dice when we go to the Warhammer 40k Commander decks that will be coming out in a bit. So I just want to kind of leave you with that. I still, like I said at the beginning of the episode, want to hear what you guys have to think about this. I really want your opinions because I might just be overblowing this, but this is how I feel. And I just felt like I had to get something out and I wanted to discuss it with, with you guys. Um, I'm gonna put a video up here on the end card. So hopefully it leads you to something else you want to see today. I just wanna remind you, you're a planeswalker spark, lights up my life.